All right, so in this part, we are going to add a few more plugins to our projects. Um, to do that, again, we need to go to Window and Package Manager. And from here, we are going to use the XR Interaction plugin. So if you like type that, you're going to see it's not showing up in here. Uh, what we need to do is go to the setting button right in here and go to advanced project settings and from there you can click on the enable preview packages and with that you can get the preview packages into your project and now from here we are going to install the uh, XR interaction toolkit and this is going to help us to like spawn or manipulate objects without writing any code so that's helpful Okay, so uh, when the installation is done, you'll see this, uh, there is a uh, warning. So what it is basically asking you to do is to restart the Unity editor because the XR Interaction Toolkit uses the latest uh, like input uh, plugin that comes with Unity, um, but we are using by default the old input system. So we need to basically press this yes button and that will restart the Unity editor. All right, so now I think we have installed all the necessity, uh, sorry, necessary uh, plugins that we need. Next up, uh, we are going to set up our project with the AR camera. Um, to do that, we first of all need to get rid of the main camera. We are not going to use that. We are going to use the AR camera instead. So if you go to, if you right click on your hierarchy, go to XR, you're going to find uh, XR session origin and XR session. We need both of them. So click on XR session first and maybe XR session origin uh, next. Doesn't matter which one you do first. Next, uh, what we're going to do is first of all, we are going to like visualize the plane. I have discussed this into other videos as well, but I'm going to do this for this series anyway. Uh, to visualize the plane, we need another uh, component, which is the plane visualizer. So again, go to XR and then click on AR um, default plane. And what this will do is like this game object contains all the necessary uh, component that we need to visualize a plane into our um, game, right? So when you're scanning the environment, the plane will show up. We're going to create a prefab out of it. So let's create a new folder. And then inside the prefab folder, we're going to drag and drop the uh, game object that will create a prefab. Then we can get rid of this. All right. So now we have the AR session and an AR session origin. Uh, what we need to do in here is that we need to create a few more components uh, to uh, basically add the interaction, but we're going to do that just in a bit. But for now, uh, we need to, first of all, basically add this plane uh, manager. So we're going to create a new component called AR plane manager. So all these components, they are basically script and they come up with Unity. So you don't have to actually write any code, right? So they already come with Unity. We're going to do coding when we need, but for most of the part when we don't need it, we're just going to use the plugins. Anyway, so just drag and drop the plane prefab that we created. Um, and then um, we are basically set. Uh, we, can uh, we can now make a build and try it out and see if it's working or not. So to build, we can go to file, build settings, and then I'm just going to do build and run. Okay, so after I do a build, you can see my screen is all black. So this is a common known problem. Um, so let's try to fix this. So what we need to do is basically go to the um, project settings into like edit project settings. And in the XR plugin management, you're going to see there is a plugin provider. And because we are using Android, uh, we are going to check AR core. Um, then we need to close this window. Actually, we also need to add the scene, but that's that's all fine. Uh, then we need to save and then 
into a build again. All right, so now the camera is working. It's going to ask us to get the permission. And then as you can see, when I move my mobile, we have the plane, right? All right, so now that we have our plane uh, all sorted up, the next part is to add some object, right? So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a XR like placement interactable. This object again provides all the necessary code that you need to uh, place a prefab or game object into your environment right we need to pass that object into this placement placement prefab right in the inspector so let's create a new game object i'm going to create a cube just for actually let's let's create a sphere because we're going to need a sphere later on so sphere and then i'm just going to name it point and drag and drop this so we can delete this from here and we are just going to drag and drop the placement prefab in here awesome um now um finally we need to add two more things first of all we need to make sure that there is a raycast uh, manager from the ar session origin so uh, this will enable us to throw a ray from the you know um, like from this air camera um, and then we also need to add the gesture interaction component and this basically enable the touch right so when you tap on your screen uh, this helps the system to trigger some events that can help to place an object all right so yeah, so we can save all this and then we can give it another try and see if um, it basically spawns an object into the game. All right, so now is the moment of truth. Let's see, we're going to scan the plane a little bit and then, <laughs> so you can see like the, it works, but the sphere is really, really, large so yeah we're going to scale it down and then in the next part we are going to work on some material so the like it, it works more like a point we're going to talk about that later on so that's all about uh, this part and uh, i'll see you guys in the next tutorial